make a horror game. I dare you. So, as a fairly new game developer, I spent the last two weeks making a horror game. So, the original idea for the game was fairly simple. You're in a dark forest, and you must try and keep a campfire alive, otherwise the monsters will get you. So, I wasted no time making a tile map, and it turns out you can make hexagon tile maps. But I might use it for a later project. Now it was time to copy and paste some player scripts for my other games. And look at that, it works. Okay, now it works. It's only been like an hour or something. Then I experimented with some walls and other map designs. Then I added the campfire which protects you from the enemies. It took about a day to get the lighting to work, but I mean, no pain, no gain. Then I added the ominous red square. And now it should be working. And look at that, it even gets repelled from the light. Then I made that red square just a little bit more terrifying. After that, I started making invisible collisions to the light. This will be more important for later. I then spent like a couple days testing around with some weird mechanics, but it just never really felt right. For example, making the light shrink over time. After that, I added a game over screen when you die, and played around with some spawning mechanics for another day or two. I don't know, I kind of lost track of time. I then added a torch to the player and added some lighting effects like shadows. But I eventually did change that torch to be a more narrow light. But now at this point I had spent quite a few days on this project already. And really didn't know how to progress. So I changed the enemy to see if that helped. And actually it did. And here's the final result. I'm pretty happy with it. And I imported it into the game. Uh, it looks out of place but you know, I'm bad at game development. And like anyone else I decided to try and make a whole story to the game. First by adding this empty house but it was missing some shadows so I just need to fix that. And a couple days later, it works. It finally works. The shadows look amazing. I am so happy with it. And I also made it so every time the person who's actually playing the game can't see the Weeping Angel, it moves towards you. Kinda like a fourth wall break or something. And yes, of course, it's broken. Then I did what I hate most, which is making audio. So I made a heartbeat sound which gets louder and faster the closer you get to the Weeping Angel. But yet again, I had another roadblock and didn't know how to progress. So I decided to simplify the whole project. No story, no lore. All you gotta do is collect some papers like from Slender Man to win the game. So yet again, I changed the map. And now the game felt ever so slightly a little unnerving, which I'm pretty happy with. Then I added the papers you have to collect, which took way longer than I'm willing to admit. Then I got ChatGTP to make a randomizer, so it randomizes the location of the papers and the amount that spawn, which should mean lots of bugs. And then lastly, to break the immersion, I added this abomination of a character and a windscreen. And that's that, my 2D horror game. I definitely learned so much about 2D lighting and sound effects, and yes, I could have added a lot more to the game to make it a lot more scary, but I do want to try making other types of games, so if you've got any other ideas, leave them in the comments. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good day. Bye!